This is Neil Osterweil at ASCO 2012. I spoke with Dr. Dirk Arnold regarding adding bevacizumab to second-line chemotherapy in patients with advanced colorectal cancer. Dr. Arnold, bevacizumab has had kind of a checkered history uh, with other cancers, but in colorectal cancer, uh, it seems to make a real difference. And in your study, you're seeing it now in the second line. And um, this is the first randomized trial, uh, I, as you report. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about the success? The, the trial works, uh, the drug works nicely. We know this in first line, it works in second line. This is the findings we have from randomized trial. And there was some practice, I think, for physicians considering that there might be a benefit from continuing from first line to second line. We have now done this on the basis of a randomized phase three trial. The trial is clearly positive in terms of overall survival. Overall survival was improved. And therefore, I think we have to, I think, two things we can draw off this. First of all is this may clearly now encourage the use in daily practice. There will be some issues on labeling and label extension, etc., etc. But I think this is one thing. The other thing is, if we think about biology, what really happens there, I think we learn the message that once a patient is progressing with chemotherapy and the tumor is refractory to chemotherapy, this does not necessarily mean that this tumor is not sensitive against a VEGF treatment anymore, because continued VEGF treatment also contributed nicely to the second line treatment. So I learned two, there are I think two stories out of it. One is the clinical meaning, the other is the hypothesis for further research and I think this brings us clearer or closer to maybe understand what these drugs really do. Now, I believe you, that you said that it was 4.2 months for the duration or the median duration of treatment uh, in the second line. Do you think with longer treatment that you might see additional effect or is there a, a kind of a biologic limit? That speculation whether you can transfer it also to further or subsequent treatment lines. I'm, I'm not sure. Given the data, I would not say no, but I cannot advocate this uh, so far, I think. Thank you, Dr. Arnold.